your comedy minute. I'm Scotty T. I have the boss queen of comedy. Sherry Priester is here. Hi, Sherry. Hi. The boss queen of comedy. I am the boss queen, y'all. I get things done, okay? I'm like the mafia, but way cuter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. I'm not sure, but Joe Moffat calls himself the boss of comedy. Does he really? Yeah, he's been well, on listen, the show. I take he's care of business. all about I'm the kings saying. of comedy and this and that. He's the boss. I, I can make you laugh and hide a body. I'm good. <laughs> I'm a Southern girl. I know my way around the woods, okay? All right, Sherry, let's go. Virginia, you're in Virginia. I am in Virginia, Virginia Beach. Uh, and been were here you for... born? I, I know the answer, but for the people at home, were you born and raised in Virginia? Does this sound like I was born and raised in Virginia? No. Hey, hey, I my crack staff puts the questions together. What the hell do you want from me? I have to ask. I was, I'm originally from North Georgia. I was going to say, I knew it was Georgia, but. Yeah, like. Dur -dur 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 -dur. <laughs> hey, shitter's full. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're we've been in Virginia Beach for uh probably almost 30 years now. Yep. I love Virginia Beach, by the way. Ah, it's great. I, you and I had a brief phone conversation. And we did? I told you how much I love Virginia Beach. I love Norfolk. I love the whole that whole area down there. Oh, you said it right too. You Norfolk. said Norfolk yeah. right. You don't say Norfolk. <laughs> no, Norfolk. you don't. And that's Norfolk. Norfolk. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I first time I was there, like, did you say Norfolk? <laughs> yes, yes, we say the bad word in in the city's <laughs> name. No. Um, when did you start doing comedy? I actually started five years ago, two thousand nineteen, and it was a little. Um, it was a midlife crisis comedy. That's what okay. it was. My daughter had gone off to college, and my husband had retired from the Navy. And um, we agreed that we could not stay in the house together because we would kill each other. And he said, I think you should talk to somebody. So I got on the stage and talked to strangers. Okay. Well, that answers yeah. the second part of that question is always was a, a catalyst. And the catalyst was that, you know, you two couldn't be together. Oh, we, well, I mean, we can be together, but listen. No, I mean, 34 years, right? Have you guys been together 34 years or something? 30 34 years. Right. But he was he was in the Navy and he was gone a lot. Okay. So the secret to our successful marriage was deployment, Scott. It was deployment. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I hate to give it away, but let's jump ahead. He has some advice for he has some marriage advice. Do you mind <laughs> yeah, he says to people what he what he what he said? I mean, and uh, well, go ahead and tell him because I want to tie in with your amazing TikTok stuff. You have amazing stuff on TikTok. But anyway, you have a video on TikTok, and what do you call him? Sugar bear or honey bear or something? Oh, uh, I call him Scooter Pie. Scooter Pie. Okay. I, I call him all kinds of things, but I call him a hot spin when I want him to do something, so he's hot, because it makes him feel good, okay? <laughs> but uh, he's so good. He really is kind. He makes so funny videos but the other day I asked him for some marital advice we've been married 34 years so what's the best right. marital advice you can give somebody and he said just fucking give in and that is so true <laughs> yeah yeah I, I that's why I brought it up I thought man that man no wonder 34 years just do what she wants he is insane or sainted one of the two just yeah I tell people because I do these and, and like you and I were just meeting Okay, we've never met yeah. before. We've only known each other we for a few minutes. And I tell people, do you know why people hate me before they get to know me? It saves time. They... It saves time. It saves it time. Saves time. <laughs> I'm like, get to know me before you hate me. Give me no, at least five. No, I'll just go right. By the time this is over. Uh, Sherry, comedians that inspired you. To, uh, to I like Wanda Sykes. In other words, uh, five years ago or whatever that you... Comedians that you liked that, that you wanted to be like? I like Wanda Sykes. She's actually from Portsmouth, Virginia, which is just down the, the road. Right, right, right. Um, I've always liked, I know she wasn't a stand-up comedian, but I always loved Lucille Ball just for her physicality. Sure. I get that just a lot. Expressions. Um, I like Leanne Morgan. She's kind of from my area. And okay. We kind yeah, of have a lot, say, you lot can of mention, similarities. You can mention comedians now that you like too. Any anybody that, yeah. that trips your trigger. 
um, I don't know. I kind of like a mix, you know, I always like Jack, Jeff Foxworthy and uh, right. Larry, the cable guy, kind of all those yeah. old guys. Country, country stuff. Yeah. And, and not even just country. I was just kind of a mix of all, all, all right. things and anything funny. You know, okay. I grew up in a very rural, sheltered, <laughs> tiny <laughs> town. My parents were cops. That wasn't fun. Like they were both really? cops. It was, Oh wow! there was no fun. There was no fun happening in my household. Zero okay. fun. <laughs> so, you know, I just reached out and kind of gravitated towards anything that made anybody okay. laugh. And I think they thought I was insane. They really did think I was insane. Well, you're, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> That's how they looked at me all the time. Like people, people think I'm nuts. Uh, you were on Good Morning America. I mean, I, I hate to jump around, but you've got a lot of stuff because you you tour all over. Uh, but you were on Good Morning America. Do you want to tell people about that? Because I think so, that's really cool. Yes. So I do a lot of work with a nonprofit called the Armed Services Arts Partnership. Okay. Uh, which is a nonprofit that teaches art instruction to veterans, their caregivers, and their family members. Right. And um, I'm I teach stand up comedy with them. Okay. And um, I do and perform shows for them. And they uh, were being interviewed on Good Morning America, and they asked several of their instructors to come and perform for Good Morning America's team. And uh, Good Morning America's like, we don't know who we're going to use or what we're going to use. We may use, we may not. And uh, it was Christmas morning. <laughs> sat down and watched it and I opened the show and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So it's pretty cool. Was it, was it an apologize my ignorance? Cause I mean, I looked at your bio and everything and you know, I try and get as much together as I can. Yeah. Uh, were, were you there live or it was via zoom or. Yeah. It was a re pre-recorded interview. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. And it, you know, again, pardon my ignorance, but did you get paid for that? No, I didn't get paid for that, but I got a credit. What does that mean? No, I mean, I, no, and, and, and I guess maybe it's if you're actually there in this, but they call it scale that you get. Yeah. I mean, because I, I did a thing on that you have to sign a release and, you know, you got to do paperwork. Yeah, we did have to sign a release. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For people that don't know that you're just going to jump on, you just don't jump on one of those shows. No, no, no. Yeah, we had to sign a release. <laughs> As being part of that show, that performance, we all had to sign a release. They just didn't. No, yeah, at that right, time, right, right. They were going to use or who they weren't. You know, a lot of well, things get cut on the editing floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but so all, of, all in all, great. Well, I mean, first off, it's a great cause. Yes, you know, it's and an when, absolute when, great I, cause. when I air this, I'll put whatever links you want me to put include. I'll include them because you know I always like to try to help out. Yeah, absolutely. I'm They're a great cause. For in a minute the, or two. They they uh, serve across the nation. Teach via Zoom. It's great. Okay, cool. On TikTok, you have 11,000 followers. Yeah. One of I need more. <laughs> Golly. Can I? Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm blank. I'm, I'm loud. I'm blatant. I'm sorry. You're, no, I'm you're fine. Gentler. You're fine. You're fine. Kinder, demure. I'm, listen, if, if you didn't get it, it's your comedy minute. I do nothing but try to throw you bones the whole way. I just tell you how great you are. <laughs> on tiktok you have eleven thousand plus followers you have one video that has over one million views and you want to tell the people about that one because i think it's a really funny video and again involves your husband who you know i want to touch on that too because he must enjoy doing these oh he really doesn't he I, it's like pulling teeth that's what i thought <laughs> that's what i thought <laughs> he's really like pulling teeth but at that moment our our youngest daughter who is in that video you see her yeah, it, it, um she's getting married right she's, engaged she's getting whatever, married right? she's engaged she's about to leave on her bachelorette trip her, her friends are coming to pick her up and she's she's left her car at our house she no longer lives with us like she's bought a home okay has her car and everything and she's okay. She's bantering back and forth with her dad. She's very giddy yeah. and excited about this little trip. And normally in her real life, she's not that way, but she's oh, like yeah. excited. Yeah. And so she's, she's telling her dad, like, Hey, three things I'm getting married. 
my car is here all weekend. It has no gas in it. And the oil light is on because it's like at 5%. And that means there's 5% gas left in it. Yeah. And my husband just replies to her that yeah. it's still going to be there all weekend. He's not going <laughs> to fill it up and he's not going to change the I oil. Love I love it. And him. she's like, what? And and so I interject and say, you know, Kate, that's a fiance's job yeah. now. No. I, and yeah. she's like, no, no, you don't, you don't get rid of a father. You add on. You add on. <laughs> it's you get a husband and and you add, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. And I said, yeah. no. No, it don't and work he's gonna have to do your taxes. And she goes, oh mm. yeah, yeah, that's a great video. Well, that's it was ties just in. something we caught, like spur of the moment she, she yeah. just kind of started in and who knew well, those that it are, was those are go. the best I'm, i've been doing this a little bit and that's you know the best videos are are videos that are true and one off and you know yeah. i love them the comments it's, were wild yeah oh i bet i bet well and it, let me just ask you because it, do you enjoy in other words you've been doing stand-up for five yes. years and very successful boss queen of comedy but there's also that TikTok, Instagram, you know, doing skits kind of yeah. stuff. Because there's, do you enjoy doing one more than the other? Or I, I truly love being on stage and telling jokes. There's nothing more than that feeling of having a joke hit and being able to see people smile and the joy and entertainment you bring to them. Okay, that's a drug. That's just a drug. It's like yeah. better than any high you can get anywhere else. I do enjoy doing skits and, and doing those things. Okay. However, if I had to choose one or the other, I would definitely choose stand up. Well, and unless someone like were going to, you know, like put me on Saturday do? Night Live, then you want, you want to do a couple bits? You want me to shut up and you can do a couple bits? That's up to you. Well, I wanted to try out some. I wanted to tell you a little story. If Go that's ahead. Okay. It, it's All your right, comedy so, minute. Go ahead. I've been married 34 years, right? right? You've been married a long time. You got to keep things spicy, right? right. You got to keep things up because, you know, things get boring, right? Yeah. And ladies, I don't know who's watching this, but ladies, you have to put put in your time. You got to do your part, okay? You, right. you have to. So I took I took my hotspin, right? He's seen all the videos. I took my hotspin to the local couples boutique. Y'all know what that is. That's all the right. adult toy store and i don't mean home depot i mean yeah you know, i get her <laughs> i get her because he'd never been so he's a little apprehensive and i'm like look it's gonna be okay we're gonna go in here just <laughs> try not to touch anything there are gonna be other couples it's okay just don't make eye contact it's like a baptist in a liquor store type situation just don't don't make eye contact okay so we go in and, you know, I'm looking for lingerie because I wanted to find something that actually, yeah, actually yeah. fit because I don't know why you guys all think we're small. We're not. Um, and he disappeared. And I had to Marco and Polo was in the toy aisle. He was over <laughs> in the toy aisle. I was like, Polo, where, what are you doing over here? And he was looking at those things like they had a consumer report, Scott. He was like, look, this rotates, vibrates. It got positive traction. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like, we got to get you out of here. We got to go. He goes, but wait a minute. I want to go back in that back corner. I said, you do not want to go in that back corner. He goes, why? I said, because Thor lives in that back corner and I don't want you to feel bad about yourself. And he goes, how do you know about Thor? And I said, we're not talking about me right now. We got to go. <laughs> so he said, well, I've been really good. Can I get one thing? And I said, sure. Because <laughs> now he has realized, fellows, that toys are not competition. They are your teammate. Okay, you're yeah. the teammate. Yeah. He likes his toys so much, y'all. He now calls them, he now says they're, it's kind of like old people's sex and young people's sex is like an auto race, right? Because young okay. people's sex is like a drag race. It's mm -hmm. two people just racing to a finish as fast as they can. Okay. Granted, you get to race again in a couple minutes, but right. old people's sex is like the Coca Cola 600. You just doing a whole lot of laps. It's, it's about endurance. It's a whole lot of laps, right? And you got to have, you got to have a good pit crew, right? And it's made up of a whole bunch of people picked for their special, talented, selected team, right? You got to have a good pit crew. And that's what my husband calls his toys. He calls them his pit crew. 
And so now every time I turn around, he's like, do you want to play NASCAR? You want to play NASCAR? And I'm like, oh my God, I could have get you out of here. Uh, you know, this, uh, this is going completely, and I do these and I never, the rails. I never know. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Hell. But see, I don't know like, well, should I say this? Should I not say this? And I have written down here about the video. One of them about your friend went, got waxed. Yes. And now, after the whole vibrating butt plug and coleslaw enema, hell, tell us about that. Oh, so I have I have some of the greatest <laughs> friends, but we went to lunch, and I'm my sorry. one friend, um, <laughs> my one friend, sits down, and without any hello, how are you? Good to see you. She just sits down and she goes, "I waxed, and now my JJ looks like a sock puppet," <laughs> and so my. My eldest friend, she's the nice one in the group, okay? She always has gum. She volunteers. Sometimes she whips out things like, I miss cocaine. And you're like, oh, man, you had a pass. But she goes, <laughs> why would you do that? She goes, it's all going to fall out anyway. I hate to tell you. <laughs> and I'm like, she goes, because, you know, I want to be clean. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I said, yeah. no, my, my lady is still angry about all them big hated babies. Like, no, this is not happening. And my other girlfriend is like, no, no, it's mm -mm, not, nothing's happening down there. And so the first friend is like, well, what's going on? You got like 1970s shag? I said, no. <laughs> if I had to assign a carpet name, yeah. it's maintained. If I had to assign a carpet name, it would be. And that's when my girlfriend goes, Berber. We have Berber vaginas. And the poor table of like teenage boys next to us just got up and left. And I don't understand why. Because, I mean, they were getting an education. I, I don't get it. Berber vagina. A Berber yeah, we have Berber vagina. You know way too much about my my vagina now, Scott. I, way too much. I, like I said, this thing has gone completely. Well, it's not. <laughs> It's not off the rails, but it's, she's, we're, we're over there. I, I never dreamt when I started this thing, we'd be talking about your vagina and vibrating butt plugs. Well, I never said butt plugs. I just said he enjoyed no, toys. I know, I know that's my <laughs> fault. I, but I've been in with those stores. I know. <laughs> I can, I can, I think the line that I love the most out of that was Marco Polo. <laughs> yes, and it was. I was like, where did he you guys do did that? Where did he I, go? I, you know, I got. I hate to do this, but I also love, and it just shows how much I loved, and, and will love your stuff and continue to support you. But I love the video where your husband is telling you. Uh, I, I hate to give it away about uh, he's in the car and he's giving you specific instructions. You <laughs> don't take a man. I don't know, ladies. One. Don't ever take a man shopping, okay? You, I was going to say, let you me know tell what you. I'm talking about. Yes, I know what, what you're talking about. I'm talking about. Yes. I, okay. I, you know, I almost want to get him on the screen. I love him. I think he's great. He is great. He's what? That's why I've been married to him for 34 yeah, years. 34 he years putting up with your ass. I'm, I'm, I'm late. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I am not. He is sainted or insane. Probably yeah, both. No, I he's love it. So um, we used to be, listen. 34 years ago, we used to be fun. You oh, know, you guys we are fun. Go out at night, <laughs> like on a date. Now we go out at night to a Kroger. That's what he thinks is a date. And I'm like, this yeah. is not a date. But we went, and he gets mad at me when we go to the grocery store. And now I've learned not to take him. I don't take him because it's like shopping yeah. with my mother. But I'm getting, he, he goes, Do you have your list? And I'm like, Yes. Why? Well, and he goes, you don't have to do the whole thing. Go. I, I just love it. We're gonna go aisle one, aisle two, not aisle <laughs> one, aisle three, aisle two, aisle six, aisle one, aisle four. No, aisle backsies. And I'm like, yeah, that's a great video. Thirty minutes in and out. Thirty minutes in and out. I don't take him anymore now. Yeah, I, I, I make I him go alone. I think it's for the best. I um, make him go alone. That way he can just. Yeah, I think it probably, you know, well, 34 years. You guys know what's going on. Yeah, a well, favorite, let's let's try, and get her, do. let's try and get her back to your stand up comedy because you love doing it. I do. A favorite show 
that you've done, not a favorite show you watched on TV. I love people who go, MASH. No, no, no. No, no. Favorite show that you performed, that you did. Yeah. And then, of course, the least favorite show. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to sound crazy. I did. Oh, I, you're show. in good company. <laughs> I did a show at the DC Improv with the Armed Services Arts Partnership. Okay. But it was for a specific, there was a specific theme. And um, it was celebrating America's upcoming 250th birthday. Okay. And we had to write jokes based on okay. things that have happened over 250 years. Okay. And that was a real struggle, right? But, but this, is, this is your favorite show? This is your favorite show? It was show my you? favorite show. Okay. It was yeah. my favorite show. Okay. I When I got to... To perform at the DC Improv, which is a great club, well-known club, yeah. and um, I had all, I just had all, I had the most fun at that show, Wonderful. and I was really able to connect because I kind of I took a, a an idea from Bob Newhart and thinking okay. about like what would the founding fathers say if they came back today, what would they think, how would they act, what would they? I bet about? it was great. I'll bet yeah, it, was it, was, it was it was great fun. Do you want to and do a couple think, lines from it? Yeah, I mean it's fine with um, me. Um, let's see if I can remember. Um uh great premise. 1776, great premise. or we've came a long way in in almost 250 years. I mean, we've elected a a black president. Yeah. An orange president. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> and an any day president, because Papa could go at any day. He could go. <laughs> and then we could have a black female president. Yeah. <laughs> baby, we came a long way. Because in yeah. 1776, women had no choice in anything. They was just popping out babies like Pez dispensers. They couldn't drink. <laughs> they couldn't make any decisions. Now, women today. <laughs> We got boob jobs. <laughs> we don't pop out babies. <laughs> Telling you in the future, nursing homes are going to be full of just stacked women. <laughs> Swigging tequila. <laughs> twerking in our thong depends. Yeah. And I twerk on, you know, I get all the way down there. And I just said, <laughs> if the founding father could see me now, <laughs> suck it, fellas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's your favorite show. That was my favorite show. Okay, now here's where the meat is. The least favorite show. I think the least favorite show was a bringer show I did at the local club here called the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. Okay. And uh, I just, it was an off night. I didn't do well. And I just didn't flow. I didn't have fun. I got okay. on the stage and I wasn't, I wasn't in my right mind. So, I, you know. Yeah. I, I am a comic that I really, I want to have fun. And if I'm not having fun, it shows. Yeah. And it just, it just. Well, and you know what? Like this flat. is the first time that someone's actually turned it around. Because normally, you know, I get like, I've had Corey Albert, who said this old lady come up and like, fuck you. He was doing, you know, and she chased after him and screamed, get off the stage. You know, for you, it wasn't that. It was just, you didn't like it. No. I've never really had anybody interact with me like that before. I've yeah. had to, you know, tell people like, if you don't stop on the scale, you like a spider monkey because I'm little, <laughs> but right, I'm right. little but mighty. I've never really had anybody be that way, but the performance was, it's like crickets, you know, when you're performing and it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And you know, you're sucking and they know you're sucking and you just got to <laughs> ride the suck out. The you level gotta, of sucking. It's like, uh, it's like yeah. having gas, but you can't fart. It's that, you know, <laughs> you have a way, you have a way about you. Um, <laughs> it's probably the wrong way. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fantastic. I think that, um, I, you know, again, I'm almost speechless because it's rare that I have someone that has, such success at Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and is a great stand-up comedian. And but uh, the the common denominator is it always comes back to I love doing the stand-up. Oh, I did. I love it. What I was what was your first? 
Okay, maybe there I'll get a little meat. What was your first show like five years ago? How was that? Um, the first actual show I did was the, um, well, the first open mic I ever did. The first show you it, ever did. Oh, the first show. First were show, you, show. In other words, were you scared? Did it go well? I was scared, but I was oddly calm, and it went okay. I think my jokes sucked because <laughs> they all were, you know, when you're all, when you're starting, you're, they're all not great. They're just not yeah. great. And, you know, I think my friends and family were like, somebody's got to tell her she's not good at this. You know, yeah, somebody's got to tell her. Yeah. But um, I still had a passion for it. I, I was still enjoying myself. Right. Yeah. And, do you feel, that's do you really feel now? Did. Do you feel now, Sherry, it's getting better, like with every show? I mean, there's still does, off nights. I mean, you're but, always going to have those shows where it's just yeah, off nights, <gasps> but but your material and and what you're, I mean, oh, five yeah. years plus. Oh yeah, there are some jokes that I still have that I wrote that I still use today. You still use, and today, then there right. are some that, yeah, there are some that I start I I wrote and they're completely changed. I've tweaked them and turned them and twisted them and they've completely evolved and changed and, and everything. But I'm pretty true to myself. You know, I don't, I make jokes about my life. I make jokes yeah, about yeah, being yeah. a woman. The true stuff. The true stuff is about. Yeah. I, if, if I tried to make jokes about, you know, building a rocket ship, I don't think anybody would yeah, believe no, that. No, 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 no. You got to go for what you know. I, yeah. I, I just have a question because it, it happens to me. It happens to me all the time. Do you have jokes that you really like that you wrote or that, you know, whatever, and you feel like it, and then you change your mind and don't do it. Yes. I have one. <laughs> Go ahead and I do love it. this joke. Go ahead and do it. And then I'll, and I'll, and I'll follow it up. I don't even have, I don't even remember all of it. Cause so, I haven't okay. done it. Well, it's, so I mean, I... it's about Jesus. And it was one yeah. of the first books. I wrote. It's, it's, it's basically about Jesus being a mama's boy. Cause he was. <laughs> right i mean he turned water to wine for his mama and that is love that is love yeah. okay yeah. and if you can turn if your baby can turn water to wine for you you party all night yeah you know yeah. but it was it, it was it was kind of like punching down on jesus a little bit and they're yeah. like i don't think you should punch down i don't think you should talk about jesus that way and i'm like it's okay he loves me mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it'd be all right if I did my Jesus and prostitute joke? Yes, go ahead. Do it, do it, do it. You sure? Yeah. What's the difference between Jesus and a prostitute? How they got what? nailed. <laughs> How they got nailed. Now stop it. Stop it. Well, stop he was the original that. pinup boy. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, I, I want to quick bring up Nancy Levine, who... I want to give props to Nancy because she contacted me about you. Uh, you're going to play so the sweet ladies, of her. ladies room comedy festival. She Nancy was on the show. And if it's, I, I'll tell you, so, you know, I'm not secret about it. I love female comedians. I like my interaction with female comedians better. So I will always trying to get female comedians come on the show. Nancy's been nice enough. She was on the show and didn't hate me. So she she says, you know, Scotty, here's some. So she's thrown me the Gwyn Factor, Teresa De Gatano, um, just in. So I want to add that to the list. I want to thank Nancy, and I want to thank you for for being on the show, agreeing oh, to do it. Thank you so much. Oh thank no, you. we're not done. We because we still got to do your comedy minute. But I want to I want to make sure because you have so much, and I was on your website, and again, I will mention, and I will. Well, we've already mentioned, but I will put all the links to your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever else you have, your YouTube channel, um, which I subscribed and, you know, anything I can do to help there, I will. But I want to make sure that we cover everything that you have because you have dates coming up on your website, uh, Boss Queen of Comedy or whatever. I went there and you have dates yes. coming up. You have one in Maryland, I think. You have, you have them all yes. over. Yeah. Yes. I have... Um... The North Carolina Comedy Festival coming up in September. I've got on my birthday, September 14th in Elizabeth City, North okay. Carolina. I'm headlining the Performing Arts Center there. I'll start um, shopping now. 
I'll start yeah, shopping. I'll be up in uh, Maryland at the Amanis, uh Funniest, Lehigh, Lehigh Valley's Funniest. I'm kind of all over. I'll be doing uh, Salute to the Arts in D.C. in October. So I'm just kind of all over. And I'll be uh, featuring for Caroline Picard at Cosby's Comedy Club in um, October 7th and 8th here in Newport News. Hey, I'll make sure to get this aired and we'll, you know, we'll chat between then, you know, anything you want to, you yeah. know, if you want to. You know, after this, you can write a message. Boy, that sucked. You're horrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you might say the same thing about me. No, like, no, no. He's you're a fed. hot mess. Well, hey, one quick question. When you go on the road, does does he go with you? Or does he enjoy Sometimes. his time alone? So we Look, there is something to be said for separation makes the heart grow fonder. I am yeah, yeah, like yeah. Just like you um, said, when he got deployed... While you're off, you know, going to D.C. to do a show, he's home watching football and eating Cheetos. And Yes. He, um, I don't it, it's a like little that. different. Like, he's like, I don't think I like you being gone all the time. I'm like, well, yeah. I didn't like you being gone all the time. And I had two kids. So suck yeah. it up, buttercup. But <laughs> he, yeah, um, you, you say you're a he, mom, but not a good it's mom. It's fine. Sometimes he goes, sometimes he doesn't. And it's it's just odd when he chooses. Like I could go to the worst part of area and yeah. he'll be like, see you later. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you break down, I hope somebody helps you. <laughs> and then I'll go somewhere really nice and he'll go, well, I, I think that. I'll go with you that time. I, I'm like, that. I could have used you when I was like almost kidnapped. In Tijuana, like, uh, <laughs> you said no to that, but. You kill me. You kill me. You slay me. Oh, my gosh. You are funny as heck. I've really enjoyed my time with you, Sherry. I've enjoyed my time. And thank you so much for having well, look, me. We, like, we got to do. Cool. We still have a small little bit of business to do. You know what it is. <laughs> Stop that. That reminds me of my schnutz. <laughs> but an inch less, I have a score on my ass. All right. Uh, uh, Sherry Priester. Yes. Your comedy minute. Go ahead. Oh, so, you know, I'm of a certain age and I already told you my birthday's coming up. All right. I'm going to be 63. I said, I'm going to start shopping now. 63. It, September 14th or October 14th, September September. 14th. Yeah. Okay, September 14th. 63. All of you people that watch this video, September 14th, we'll get this on the air and we'll make sure. 63. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I look good for 63, don't I? Stop it. You don't know how old I am. I just had a birthday August 17th. I didn't mean to screw up your comedy minute. Let's start over. That's okay. All right. Harry Priester, your <laughs> comedy minute. Go ahead. Look, I am turning 63 in September. I look good for 63 too, right? Right. Yeah, that's right. That's a lie. I am not turning 63. I just tell people I'm 63. <laughs> Those that think, think I look good. <laughs> Because, look, you get older, you got to round up, Scott. Okay, you got to round up. Like, I never understood. My mother would be, like, in her late 60s. She'd say, oh, I'm 55. I'm like, no, girl, you need to stop doing that, okay? Because you're looking bad for 55. Like, Mom, you're 63. Stop doing that. Stop. Okay. So I always round up. My okay. husband's like, stop doing that. And I'm like, but they think I look so good. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. But I have reached... I have reached that special age. You may have reached it too, Scott, where I'm shrinking. Oh. Like my hair is falling out. Everything oh, yeah. is falling, Scott. Everything. Things yeah, are flapping in the wind it's at this point. Fault. Okay. But my beard, that's coming in nice. <laughs> mm. And for women, we always get that one long one. And it's like, it's got its own like zip code, right? And you don't find it till you're in a meeting. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah. what is this? And you look at one of your coworkers later, like you could have told me. They're like, "Well, we thought you knew. How how did I know? No, I didn't know. Yeah, I don't like getting. It's not that bad though. Okay, right. I mean, I have started collecting containers just because they're good containers. You know, <laughs> I did tell a stranger about my colonoscopy. I couldn't help it; it just came out. You know, <laughs> but I have realized that your seventies. They say the closer you get to 70, I'm like, it's not that bad, right? Because one, yeah. my care has quit. I don't care about anything. The only person yeah. I want to talk to now is the bartender. I'm like, I love if you're that. upset about something, if I have offended you, wait, give it five minutes. I'll offend you about something else in five <laughs> more minutes. Just you'll get over it. Okay. It's okay. 
But I have realized they say that the seventies are your new twenties. Right. And I believe it. I totally believe it because my uncle, he's like 73. Right. My cousin moved him down to a retirement village in Florida. Okay. He's been really lonely, like since my aunt died and everything. So she moved him down there and she called me. She goes, Sherry, I don't know what has happened, but we should have moved daddy years ago. He's happy. He's active. He's vibrant. I don't know what he's gotten into. It's a girlfriend widows. He got into a whole bunch of widows. That's what he got into. <laughs> that boy living his best life. Yeah. I mean, seven. he's like at the villages just partying out. He's just okay. drunk, riding around his little golf car, having a good yeah. time. My husband's like, we should move down with Uncle Bobby. I'm like, slow your roll, Romeo. Okay, just hold up. All right. Well, Sherry, thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording because we're going to run out of time. But thank you very much for being here.